Good day, brethren. You are welcome to RCC Junior Covenant Parish's Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father and the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adeboye. And I pray that as you join me today, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, December 10, 2024, we are looking at the topic, He Never Fails. Our memory verse is taken from Psalm 73, verse 26, which says, My flesh and my heart fail it, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Our text is taken from Isaiah 41, from verses 9 to 12, which says, Though whom, Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief of men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and I have not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and shall not find them. Even them that contend with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. When people seek solutions to their problems outside God, they end up failing even if it sometimes seems they were solved initially. The advantage we have as God's children is that we have a father who never fails. The worst verdict any sick fellow can hear from a doctor is there is nothing we can do. However, when doctors reach their limit, the Almighty God can step into the situation and bring total healing because he is limitless. So, when people look for solutions outside God, many times they end up failing because human help has limits. Uh, even the devil has limits to how far he can help you. And of course, the devil has ulterior motives. It will, it will give you one and take more from you. But where human help stops, God can step in and do what only he can do. It is God's help that is unlimited. It is limitless. Years ago, according to our Father and the Lord, a woman told me that her daughter in the United States of America was pregnant and was about to deliver. The doctors discovered that the baby was too big to be delivered naturally, so they decided to perform a surgical procedure to bring the baby out. When they tested her blood, they discovered another issue. She was suffering from a very rare disease that would not allow her, to, her blood to clot. This meant that they also could not operate on her because she would bleed to death. God told me to ask the mother to bring two handkerchiefs for me to pray over, even though I didn't understand why. I relayed the message to her and she obeyed. After praying over the handkerchiefs, I told her to travel to meet her daughter in the hospital and lay one of the handkerchiefs on her. When she got to, the do- to her daughter, she laid one handkerchief on her as I instructed. The following morning, the handkerchief was missing. They searched everywhere and they just couldn't find it. The woman then said, thank God I brought two handkerchiefs. She tied the second handkerchief firmly to her daughter's wrist and asked the do- doctors to wait to see what happens. The doctor said they could only wait until 10 a.m after which they will bring out the baby and take their chances with the mother. By 8 a.m., however, the baby that they said could not come naturally was delivered safely. If you cry out to Jesus when faced with an impossible situation, it will show up for you. So we see a father and the Lord giving um, a testimony of a woman whose daughter in the United States uh, was to have a baby, and they couldn't bring the baby out through natural means, and they wanted to perform um, surgery, but found out that she also had a blood problem, a blood clotting problem. And so this woman came to him and um, she was asked to bring handkerchief, the handkerchiefs. Um, he prayed over the handkerchiefs. And um, to cut the long story short, the woman that could not deliver the baby herself and whose life was in jeopardy because of a rare disease um, gave birth to the baby by herself, showing us that there is nothing God cannot do. Where human limit stops, God can take it for that. God can stretch it because God made the human body. God made the world. He made the universe. Nothing is out of his control. Nothing is out of his power. He made all things. He's always in charge of all things and he can do all things, even the things that seem impossible to you and I. God said in Psalm 50 verse 15 that you should call on him in the day of trouble and it will answer. I want to advise you that before that day of trouble comes, ensure that you are close to God so that he will listen to you when you call. Isaiah 59 verse 1 says that he is not deaf, but sin can stop him from hearing a person's call. Live only so that in the day of trouble when you call on God, 
he will hear you. So, uh, God is always willing to help his children and to deliver them. But let's, and he, he has told us that when the day of trouble comes, we should call upon him. But we should also make sure that we are close to him before the day of trouble comes because um, the prayer of a sinner is an abomination to God. God will not hear the prayer of a sinner. So if you've not given your life to Jesus and you are waiting for the day of trouble to call on him, uh, you may be joking. Now is the time to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior so that when that day of trouble comes and you call upon him, he will answer you. Um, if you've been living in sin, you say you are saved, but you are putting your hands in sin, repent from your sins, ask God to forgive you and cleanse you, build a relationship with God so that when the day of trouble comes, he will hear your call and he will step in immediately. Our key point says everything else may fail, but Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails and he will never fail over you and I in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you because you never fail. Thank you because you love us so much. And Lord, thank you because everything is under your control, under your direction. Thank you because we know we can always call upon you in the day of trouble and you will answer. Lord, we ask that you continue to answer us. Help us to build a relationship with you so that when we call, you will hear us and you answer us speedily in Jesus' name. And Lord, as many as are listening to me today who have one situation or one, uh, one situation or one circumstance in their life, that they are looking up to you for a resolution. They are looking up to you for a miracle. Lord, I ask that in accordance with your word that never fails, that you step into their situation and you solve these problems for them in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.